This is a tutorial on how to tie a cross knot. First I'm going to take a long cord and fold it in half. I'm going to bring it around the back and then loop the middle cords through. And that is a cow hitch knot. Now I'm going to start my cross knot. So I'm going to take the left cord, form a loop over the middle. So I've formed a loop on the left. And then I'm going to take this cord around the back and form another loop. And I'm going to take it around the back again and form another loop. So I've now got one, two, three loops. Now we're going to take this cord that's running down the middle and I'm going to loop it around the back and then the front of that. So taking this cord, I'm going to take it around that loop, the back, and then around the front of this loop and pull it through. Right, so then you get something like that. And what I want to do is bring mine right to the top. You can leave it further down if you want. So I'm just going to tug on these two cords first to bring that right up. Okay, and then I'm going to tug on these bottom cords. And you can start to see the cross knot forming. So it's really important how you you um, tighten these, these cords because you can end up with a really confusing looking knot and you can not find your, your cross knot. Um, so just be really careful as you bring that together. Right, so there's a cross knot. I'm just going to bring these two that I've already done. And now I'm going to show you how you join them up. So um, I'm going to join these two cords. So I take the middle two and I go over. So now I've formed the first loop, although it doesn't really look like a loop. Then I'm going to go around the back to create the second loop and again to create the third loop. So I've got one, two, three. I'm going to do exactly the same where I take this middle cord around the back and then through the front of that loop. So I'm coming around the back and through the front of that loop and just tug on there. And again, I want to bring this right up. So I'm going to tug on my top cords first. And then on my bottom cords, being careful not to lose the cross knot shape. And there you have it. And I would just repeat that again and again as many times as I want.